Shalom and welcome to the Torah. This year is entitled, Can a man be with his wife alone? Yichud, when she's in Nida. You'll say, that sounds like a crazy question. A woman is in Nida during the regular year till, till menopause every couple of once, a couple of weeks a month. Uh, what do you mean? It's a Yichud. And they can't be in their house alone together. So when there's kids around, maybe it's all right, but before they have kids or the kids are out, they can't be alone. It sounds not realistic. Correct. Not an easy thing to manage. But halachically, let's just talk halachically. There's an isa yichud with someone who we cannot be with. They cannot have uh, relations with. And there's an isa yichud, according to many, it's midal right from the Torah, some say some of the Rabbanan, but either way, there's an isa. And not only can you not go ahead and have relations with this person, but there's an, a, a prohibition around it from the Torah, from the rabbis, to not even be alone. So if a woman, uh, or someone who's a wife, is a nida, that's an issa kares, it's a very serious violation. So maybe there's an issa yichud. You say, well, it's not so practical. Okay, but halach, we have to understand the category. So believe it or not, in the Gemara Shabbat, Daf Yud Gimel, and the Daf Yomi, it talks about the prohibitions between a husband and a wife. And Rashi, the simple reading of the Rashi is that there's an Issa Yichud. And Tosa quotes the Rashi and says, oh, Rashi, you're trying to say it's a Yichud between husband and wife? Now he doesn't say, oh, that's such a crazy idea. He just says, in terms of the Limud, we do not learn Issa Yichud by a husband and wife. It's uh, the Yichud sources otherwise, other places, and it doesn't apply to husband and wife scenario. But he seems to understand that's what Rashi is saying. How would Rashi work that out practically? It's a good question. Good question. But Lemaisa, we do hold, practically speaking, that a woman, husband and wife, when she's a Nida, it's an Issacharis. It's a very serious, serious violation, loss of Olam Haba. But there are two exceptions regarding this prohibition. One, we, of course, pass and there is no Issa Yichud, a husband and a wife. The only time a husband and wife can be together is on the wedding night, she's a Nida. So it's a Chupat Nida. So then they can't go to the Yichud room and can't go home alone because... There, they weren't even together, so the, the passion is too intense, they cannot be alone. It's only if they're already together, then they're living a regular life, husband and wife, that they can be in the house alone together. So that's one exception, except for the wedding night, in that rare case of a nida, a husband and wife are allowed to be alone. There's no issue, you could like Tosfos, and Shokhan, of course, passing is that way. And number two, if Chas Shalom, husband and wife, are together when she's in nida, normally it's a car race when they're people are together, there's a violation of kares, a serious violation, that results in a mamzer, the kid is a mamzer. Husband and wife, she's in need of the kid is not a mamzer. And that's a very important distinction. So those are two unique halachas by husband and wife, that A, there's no siyuchot, like Tosas, not like the Rashi, and the child is not the mamzer. Yeah, so, bye-bye.